So how is our pinakbet? The guy is our pinakbet. Okay, the pumpkin flower is already more than half cooked. So how it is taste? We will taste it together with the sweet potato. You see it's not mashed. And of course the sauce. Wow. This is really tasty, delicious with rice. I am very sure if you will cook like this, you will gonna have an extra rice. Mm, it's very very delicious. Okay, now guys, I have my secret that I'm going to let you know. You know this olive oil? Oh, I will put um, yeah, one tablespoon on top of it, right like that. And then you remove it from the fire and leave it like that. And then we will serve it. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, I want to show you how to cook pinakbet. Pinakbet in the Philippines, in the part of uh, Western, in my uh, region, Luzon, we have a traditional dish and we call it pinakbet. We have here eggplant and I cut it into four portions. As you see, anyway, optional, you can cut it the way you want. And we have here bell pepper. Actually, in our traditional dish, pinakbet, they don't put bell pepper. In my own version, I love to put bell pepper. I love the smell. And we have here lady finger. We call this in the Philippines opera. And also, I cut some one piece of uh, sweet potato. And we have this fresh green black eyed beans. It is also optional how you cut it. Okay, and then we have here a pumpkin flower. We call this calabaza flower here. And of course you have to remove what is in the inside of it. And of course I cut a big tomato in this small like this and we have also one big onion it is also optional how you cut it and we have here ginger I cut ginger into a very small cubes and of course we have here one fourth kilo of pork In my own version, I put Italian seasoning. I love the smell. And I have here also um, oregano powder, Italian seasoning powder, and we have here one teaspoon of garlic powder. And of course, we have here that is very important when we cook pinakbet, we have here bagoong. Here abroad, you can buy bagoong. This is a fish sauce. You can buy bagoong somewhere, anywhere in the Asian 
a store anywhere. You can buy, we always have this bagoong anywhere part, any part here abroad, as long as it is an Asian store. So, uh, this is bagoong. Maybe shout out to bagoong balayan, all the way into Pongkasinang. So, they, they, this one is a preserved fish sauce. It will really give a very excellent taste to our food. And you know guys also, we also use this uh, fish sauce. Every time we eat like we eat um, fish or we eat meat, we always use this as our sauce. We just squeeze lemon on it. So here, our pan, our casserole, the oil is already hot and I also use olive oil so that my food is healthy. So first that I'm going to fry is the ginger. Right here. Mm, look at the sound, it's really nice. So that ginger is already a little bit brown and you can smell the smell of ginger. So the next that we are going to put is the onion, sliced onion. golden brown not so much but at least the color will change okay the onion is now you can smell the onion so next that we're going to put is our one fourth pork meat it's really delicious if you cook for the food with love and you will taste it it's really tasty so okay we will leave this until it will fry and turn into brown okay so the meat it's already brown, a little bit brown look. And the next that we are going to put now is our sweet potato, the little finger, and the uh, green black eyed beans. Because it's, it's difficult to a little bit difficult to cook this one, so before them first. Okay. And then of course we will put the word slice one big tomato. Number from number six, I will put it to number five. A little bit is lower. This is how we cook our dish. We will cook it slowly. So let us say the fire is not too high, and then we will close it and leave it for ten minutes. The vegetable changed the color now. So the next that we are going to put is a white rabbit. You know guys why I use my hands and bare hands when I am cooking. I remember my grandmother told me before. There is a magic from our bare hands to give a taste 
in our food. Now guys, it's time for us to put our ingredients, some other spices. So here is the powder garlic and the oregano, powder oregano and the Italian seasoning powder. So okay, I put them on. And then here is our Bago all our fish sauce from the Philippines. Oh, it's good. I still have here. Okay. So it is optional. It's up to you how much quantity you are going to add in your pinak bed. Okay. No need to open another bottle. Okay. So. <laughs> And then I have to add a little water, not too much. Okay. See? So the, the taste of the fish sauce will be absorbed by the vegetables. Okay. Well, this must be delicious. But guys, look, huh? We are not going to uh, keep the vegetable very cooked. We will leave them a little bit uh, like still uh, alive, like more than half cooked. Close it and leave it there. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I love the smell. No, okay. So it's okay now. And then our last to put is our pumpkin flowers. So here. It's very easy to cook the pumpkin flour. It's not it will not to take too much time. So just like that. Okay. So leave this one for another five minutes. Okay. 